Hello, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add registration marks to your design so that you can easily line up the layers on an adhesive vinyl project. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is go right up here to this folder and click on open. And then I'm going to select my SVG and it is going to be, I'm going to use the one that says whole because I want all the pieces of my file to open up. And when I do that, it kind of zooms in a little. I'm going to zoom out just so I can see the entire picture here. And then I'm going to make my cutting area 12 by 12, the full space of the mat. So that is right over here in page setup. And so I'm going to have my size be automatic, which is Cameo, um, and it's going to be 12 by 12. Okay, and then you can see my design is right here. Now, in order to add registration marks, all I have to do is go right over here to drawing tools and I can use a rectangle or I can use a circle. It really doesn't matter. Um, I'm just going to use a rectangle for this example and I'm going to draw a skinny little rectangle right here along the bottom of my design. I'm going to just scoot it over just a little bit and then I'm going to select my design and I'm going to say ungroup. So now you can see these are all the various elements. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to my send and what I can do is right here you'll notice the registration mark is the only thing right now that's selected but what I can do is I can say okay the first round I'm going to select each of these red parts and I'll click on cut I'll adjust my settings so that they cut evenly um, I'll feed in that vinyl and I'll um, cut that one and then on the next section I'll say no cut on those and then I'll select the nose and I'll cut that and then I'll just do the exact same thing. Notice each time I'm not moving my registration mark. Whereas if you want to cut more than one piece all on the same mat, let me show you how to do that. What you're going to do is you're just going to click control copy, control front, and that literally pastes another rectangle directly on top of the original. That is a key piece of this. You want to make sure that all of your rectangle pieces are in the exact same spot so that all of these will line up properly. And then what you can do is you can click on the rectangle and then click on whatever item you want to move. And then I can drag this down here. And then if I want to do this again, I can click Control C, Control F and then I can click on the rectangle and then let's say I want to click on this part of his hat and I can drag that over here and then when I go to send if I want to use a scrap piece for this I just need to make sure that that element is highlighted to cut the nose is highlighted to cut and then whatever element over here I'm going to cut and so on and so forth as long as this registration mark is staying in that same distance every single time so that's how to create registration marks and um, be able to easily line up your design here within Silhouette Studio. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out and let me know, and I will see you back in the next tutorial. Bye.